want Nathan here again with another True Tech troubleshooting tutorial. So today I have a video in response to a question that a user sent in. And that user wanted to know how to affect change in a form for only printouts. In other words, when he prints his form, he wants certain things to be visible and certain things to be invisible. And he wanted to know how to do that in a script. In other words, make certain things invisible on print and then make them reappear after the print job has completed. And so in order to do that we want to look at the pre-print and post-print events. So if we look at our events here we have post-print, pre-print, and those are the events that are fired when a print job is called. So let's have a couple of check boxes here. This was the original question. If you had check boxes and you decided to hide a few of those at print how could the script be made to create this effect? So we're going to take four checkboxes and we're going to label them accordingly. And we're going to come over here to our hierarchy and we're going to rename each one according to what they do. So we have our form created and we want the form to only print the checkboxes that are checked. Of course, right now, if we look at our preview, all four are printing. And so how do we create an effect where these two, since they're not checked, won't show up at all? And so we need to use the preprint event to start off. So let's go into preprint for this checkbox, checkbox one. Preprint. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight each of the other boxes. So I'm going to write a simple code here. If this dot raw value equals zero. then I want this dot presence to equal hidden. So what have I said here? I said if the value of the checkbox is unchecked, that's what zero means, then hide the object. I'm going to paste that into each of the four checkboxes. And then conversely I want to go to post print and say basically the opposite. I want to say if this dot raw value is still equal to zero on post of the post print event. I want to make it visible again. So basically I'm turning off the object visibility and then I'm turning it right back on only for the print job. And I'm putting that into each of the checkboxes pre and post print events. So let's now watch it happen. Let's go ahead for this example and check two and four and then we're going to hit control P in order to print the event. And you saw as this dialog box started to pop up, two things got hidden immediately. And of course in our preview right over here in the print dialog box, you can see that only two check boxes are available. And if I can say print, it'll go to my printer. And I can design view again and things are back. If we preview it again, they're still there. Let's try a different pair. Immediately the two that are zeroed out hide and we only have those two. And so basically preprint and postprint are what happens after the print dialog box is clicked on. In other words, the user has gone to file and clicked print or he's hit control P in Adobe Reader. What happens immediately after that, that's called preprint before the print job is sent to the printer. And then after the print button is hit in the dialog box and we come back to a regular PDF view, that's the post print event. So using this we can leverage this to do all kinds of things with our form. And this is a this is a key way in which some people like to hide things um, for printout only. So in other words, sometimes people don't want buttons to show on printouts and so they will make a preprint and post print script like I just did for their buttons to hide them. Of course another simple way to do that, much easier than writing a script, is to change the presence of a button to screen only. In other words, only show me the button on the screen when it's clickable. Obviously when you print it out you can't do anything with it. You don't want to see a button printed out. So if I hit print everything is zeroed out because I didn't check any of the boxes. 
but also the button isn't there. But there's no script underneath the button. Let's check all the boxes and do it again. Just the check boxes are there. But again, under the button there's no script. I haven't placed anything in post print. I haven't put anything in preprint. So the same effect happens if we go screen only. But if you only want things to happen, such as the effect we have with disappearing objects during the preprint and postprint event, then you have to do it with a script. So there you have it. Hopefully that helps the user who asked the question, and hopefully that helps other people who may have similar issues coming up in their lifecycle programming. Keep the questions coming. Remember, IT problems are always simple, but they're never easy. We'll see you next time.